Okay, I think I need to start this video with a little disclaimer. I'm actually recording this more or less at the end. So my goal in this video was to show you all the interesting sights of uh, the beautiful city of Vesplem, capital of culture, European capital of culture this year. But unfortunately it turned out that the main, the main site, the main attraction of the city, the castle district, is currently not accessible. It is the 4th of January and you can see that there is a lot of construction work going on everywhere just because of the fact that this town is a uh, capital of culture this year and for that reason all of this uh, castle district up there is currently not available so I was not able to go in there but uh, I still recommend or I definitely recommend you to visit this place but maybe not during the, the next four weeks because the official opening uh, of the culture capital thing will be at the end of January but when I look around I'm not sure if they really managed to to finish all this construction work until then but it might be still worth watching the video because I actually found some other interesting places so have a good time hi today I'm going to explore West Plain which is the European capital of culture this year 2023 and I'm going to travel there in the most stylish way I could imagine I'm going there by bus so look at this nice little bus stop this is what the bus stops like are like in Hungary see and this is Balaton Udvari Fervenjes the place where I normally stay when I'm in Hungary at Lake Balaton and I'm gonna wait for the bus here should arrive during the next five minutes or so I have to admit that this is the first time ever I go by bus in Hungary so I'm a little bit nervous I have to admit but I think it will work out okay so see you when the bus arrives okay so this might be my bus yeah. okay seems to stop here great So here we are at West Bremen's main bus station. The tickets for these Hungarian overland buses are quite cheap. So it cost me 650 Hungarian forint for a 33 kilometer trip. That is about 1 euro and 70 or 80, which I think is quite cheap. But now let's look for some culture here in the capital of culture. So let's check out this market hall first, Vasha Charnok. Let's see what it's like. I've never been there before.
bit of empty space, which is not currently being used. So the plan is, well actually I don't really have a plan, but the idea of my video is to first have a brief walk through the more modern parts of this town and then check out the historical center and check out some of the famous sites. So th this part of town is it actually used to be the main shopping area and as you can see the architecture is mostly from the 70s 80s so it's mostly typical hungarian communist style still some remains of what I think used to be the Christmas market. And this used to be the main square, at least of the modern part of Vesprem. I would say it has lost its meaning a little bit because now people go shopping in the large shopping centers around the city and not so much here in the center. So what you can see here, Var Aruhas used to be the main place to go shopping in the 80s, 90s, but I think now there is only a supermarket. So here at the end of the pedestrian zone uh, you can already see some, some historical buildings so that's because we get a little bit closer to the historical center of Vesprem. This yellow building here looks quite extraordinary not sure what it is, but I think I will find out. So there are some shops inside, nice staircase. Still not sure what it was historically. Takarek Udvar. So it looks like it used to be some kind of marketplace. Let's go for some real culture. I think that this building 
you can see on the left side of the street is the theater, the Petöfi Sinhas, named after one of the most famous poets, Petöfi Sándor. It's an interesting secession style building. Actually, it doesn't look that great from, from this side, but I'm gonna go into, into this little park and I think we can have a better view of the architecture. Some more interesting historical buildings here. Most of them, I would say, from the 19th century. Okay. Okay. Here we are at the main entrance of the Petrofi Sinhas. Nice. And this is what it looks like from the southern side with a nice mosaic or something on the wall. Let's see. Oh, I think I can get a little bit closer. That's the university main building over there. Now, Westbrem is not only one of the oldest towns in Hungary, it also has the one of the oldest uh, universities, which of course was not in this building, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's turn around and have another look at some nicer historical buildings. I'm not really sure what that is, but again, I think I'm gonna find out. Yeah, have to be careful here. Yeah. English Language Resource Center. I have no idea what this is. Uh, not the best light conditions. Another school here.
can see that there is still a lot of construction work going on in preparation of the capital of culture year. So it's the it's the fourth of January now and as far as I know the official start of this year is only at the end of January so I think they are trying to get everything ready during the upcoming four weeks Town Hall What is this? St. Mihai. St. Michael. And I think here we are about to enter the historical center. The so-called castle area. Hushuk Kopuya, the Gate of Heroes. And that's the historical center. Unfortunately, really a lot of construction work still going on. Out. Some art gallery, I think, and you can see here is the famous fire tower or fire watching tower so some guy used to sit up there and check if there is any outbreak of fire somewhere in the city but it looks like it's also still closed so i think all of these things will be opening during the next weeks or so one nice thing about westbury is that it's built on a number of hills so you have a lot of great viewpoints and great sights okay that was some kind of fail, I would say. I just learned that basically the complete, the complete part of, or the great spot of the historical center is closed. So you cannot go in there. Uh, well, let me think what I'm going to do right now. So this is really, unfortunate because this is where the main sites of this 
city could be found. Okay, and also from the other side, it looks like you cannot go in there, but I'm still gonna try. So <laughs> they, it's really last minute construction work going on everywhere. So this here, on top of that hill, this is where I've just been. And yeah, from here, you can at least catch a glimpse of the castle area. And you can also see the, the full amount of construction work, which is going on up here. So let me, uh, there's a lot of, lot of traffic here in these small streets of West Plain. Okay, let's see. Currently I'm here and this castle bar, this is the closed area. So what I am trying to do is just to go up here and maybe there, but at least I will go up here to Benedict Catch, Benedict Hill, which should be quite a nice, should offer, offer quite a nice view. Looking good. There's a pedestrian street where I hopefully can go up at least on on this one hill. Nice place here in West Brim, which I which I haven't seen before. Okay, I can even see some people up there, so it should be possible to get there somehow. This is West Brim's main river, the Shade Potok. So actually it's not really a river, it's just a, just a little creek. And I'm now trying to go up on that hill. Question is, do I have to turn right or do I have to turn left? I have no idea. There are some, some tables there, but but here, let's go there, let's try it. I got enough time to try different possibilities to get there. Oh yeah, there seems to be some kind of staircase where we can go up. at the entrance, if you like to call it that way, of Benedict Hill, Benedict Hedge, some lockers here. And as you can see, this would be another road that, or staircase, that leads up to the castle, but it's not allowed to get in there. And <laughs> it looks like there's a guy watching me already. Uh, So let's not try, let's go to Benedict Hedge instead. A really nice view already on basically all of West Spain. Oh, there's this bridge over there. This may be also something I'm gonna check out today. Look at how steep that is. Even here.
really like this kind of place and I have to admit that also I know West Bremen for at least let's say 25 years I have never been here so I would say that also this whole travel was a little bit of a fail because the castle is completely closed it's still a success because I found this place look at that a little bit dangerous Okay, let's continue to the peak. This place is really incredible, right in the middle of the town, but still these rocks. Let's see how far we can go down here. I'm wondering if it's possible to go down there without taking too much risk. I mean, it's possible for sure if you are some kind of mountaineer, but yeah. I would say that's it. The rocks are quite slippery and well, I think there is no such big benefit of going over there. It should be quite dangerous, especially when you are filming at the same time. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back. Maybe I'm gonna go down here on the other side yeah. and then walk over to this bridge. Let's see. I think I didn't tell you so far that as far as the legend goes, Westbrehem has been built on seven hills this being one of them and you might know that there's another small town which has been built on seven hills which is my absolute favorite city which is Rome coming down from Benedict Hill and look at that <laughs> this could be some secret entrance to the castle. I don't really think so, but it's worth a try. Okay. Oh no, doesn't look that good. Wow, here you can see 
the rocks of Benedek Hedge from below. So you can get an impression how how steep it is. Okay, this seems to be a dead end, but maybe there's a pedestrian street that will continue. Yeah, it looks like that. I think I already mentioned that Veszprém is one of the oldest towns in Hungary. It has a history of more than 1,000 years and it's also called the City of Queens. And that's because uh, all the Hungarian queens have been crowned here for about, yeah, for multiple centuries, as far as I know including Gisela, the first queen of Hungary, who actually Fritschka Eterem, Eterem Lokage. I think this is quite a, quite a famous and new popular restaurant. I'm gonna check it out sometime later, not today. So what I was what was I about to say? Yeah. All the queens of Hungary have been crowned in Vesprem, including Gisela, the first queen of Hungary, who got married to the king of Hungary, the first king of Hungary, uh, Stephen Istvan. And this Gisela actually came from originally came from Germany. I think she was born somewhere near Regensburg in Bavaria. Then when she married King Stephen, she came to, to West Frame or to Hungary in general. And later, at some time, I think after uh, Stephen died, she came back to to Germany once again, Passau. And just by chance, just by chance, a few months ago, I found the grave of Gisela in, in a little church in Passau, which is not too far from where I live in Germany. Trying to find some some less crowded place with less traffic. Okay, I think over there there's another pedestrian street which goes to the zoo. I'm not gonna go to the zoo today, but I know that this is in the valley, which I wanted to visit anyway. in the valley of the Shed Potok, which means stream. Here we got the famous bridge. I think it's called Völdschied because it's, it goes over this valley. Völd meaning valley. Should be about, I would say, 40 to 50 meters high.
wondering around what time it has been built. I would guess 70s, maybe 80s, or maybe even 60s. Looks like I was completely wrong estimating the age of this bridge. As you can see here, it has been built in the 1930s, much earlier than I expected. And it's 37 meters high above the ground. Even this little chapel over there is under construction. Yeah. I'm on top of the bridge right now. We have another great view of the castle district. And I think I'm gonna finish off this video here. Unfortunately, it didn't really turn out the way I, I wanted it to. And I really have to say that the amount of construction work which is going on here is absolutely crazy. My impression is that they are, they are doing a lot of things that are not really necessary. I mean, West Bremen was quite a nicely renovated city before and I'm sure it will be even more beautiful this summer but I think some, sometimes it looks like they were trying to spend as much money as possible for this construction work There is probably some European Union money spending for this that should be used as well as possible. So anyway, this was not necessarily my greatest visit to West Bremen. Still was a good one. I. I found some some new places which I didn't which I didn't know before but yeah, not what I expected I mean it's January the 4th and actually it's 2023 and everything should should be should be finished but it isn't. Okay, so see you in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.